Hi there, higher running coach and dog athlete, Sage Candé here with my tips on how to run the Boston Marathon. I've had the great honor of towing the starting line a number of times there over the years. And what I've learned is, you know, there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of competition, a lot of fast runners at the start. Even though it's downhill in that first 10K, that first half, you don't want to bank a ton of time. Uh, you're going to get crushed in the Newton Hills if you do that. Uh, there's a lot of challenging uphills where you might lose a minute or two uh, from miles 16 to 20, but that doesn't mean you really want to go much faster in that first half. It's in a lot of spectacular slowdowns with, you know, five, 10 minutes slower the second half. When I ran my best in Boston, uh, I got 16th place, ran 219.12. I slowed down about two minutes in the second half. So I came through the first half of 108.30. Second half was about 110.40. Uh, I wasn't going much faster than 10 seconds a mile, faster than what I wanted to average, even on those very downhill miles early on. So six seconds a kilometer. Uh, you really don't want to, you still want to pace it relatively evenly. So go for more even splits. And then a final note about the weather. You're going to have probably a tailwind crosswind this year. It's going to be on the warmer side, sunny. You're going to dry out fast. So stay hydrated, drink often, drink early, and pay attention to that pacing strategy. Don't get caught up in the hype. So good luck to everyone out there at Boston. Check out our plans at Higher Running. we got a BQ training plan. Got a lot of people sub three marathons, as well as our hilly marathon plan, uh, specifically designed for Boston. A lot of tips uh, from that and other hilly marathon races like New York. So check it out. Congrats to all our runners that qualified and best of luck out there.